Uh -huh. Okay then, let's do it this way. We have safely secured via wall mounted plugs and washers um, the 100 watt flexible solar panel quite thin look you see there it's very flexible does what it says on the tin 36 squares solar um, I got straight into the cast look sorry yeah uh, good evening it's David Indy um, Thursday the 1st of August and uh, I have upgraded the, uh, the tiny little uh, 6 inch by 10 inch 20 watt solar panel so that's uh, your outputs here clearly labelled with your positives and your negative terminal so you don't get confused and then what I've done is I've put them there I've put some extenders on you go onto uh, the apps from um, Geek and Wish yeah, and you get some solar power solar panel and um, power cable extenders and what happened is they come with two um, silver ends exposed which is actually a power controller if you haven't seen the setup before so I simply just connected the plugs in to there so then therefore it uh, safely seals waterproof weatherproof in there and then obviously they've gone into the uh, solar panel power input the white cable is the uh, cable that feeds out to the battery just in there I'll show you in a minute so outside what we have is power catcher 100 watt with solar power panel cable extensions on with the raw ends going into the bottom of there um, forgive my rudimentary setup it's just for this video and then the output of the power you got your 12.6 or something it's telling me there to feed on the display so we're all right and then that'll go through there and I will show you coming out of there is split rudimentary going down now this is a metal careful here because this is a aluminium metally type case behind this cardboard is uh, the terminals for the battery so what David's done in his wisdom is I've fitted the uh, the terminal battery um, you know, the battery terminals should I say onto the uh, the stubs that stick out so I've got uh, I'm not fixing straight onto a tiny little circle I'm uh, distributing and getting the power effectively through um, the correct terminal adapters for your battery stubs and uh, you've got the ones that one there the power in from here look the ones with the pink tape I've done like that so you can see that's your power in from the power pack outside um, to the 12 volt DC battery and then the uh, 6000 watt inverter with two plugs um, it's got 350 amp fuses inside and um, blade fuses for the car similar to your iron horse automobile four USBs two plugs um, upgraded from 1500 watt and uh, with a bit of luck he says he'll find the switch it's always got the fan on, the fan always comes on so it's quite noisy but you get a nice little readout, total volts, 50 hertz and 220 volts output so input is 12.6 reading the battery state. Right. If we get like um, a toaster or something, a TV and a microwave, it would run that effectively. But it would uh, it would need to be amp volt sufficient for the drain that you're going to be using. The drain on the 12 volt battery with the 120 um, amps in it, and that's going to give you 18 volts. On the back of that, there is some specification as to maximum output rating efficiency. Um, you would be required to get a few of these, several batteries, but uh, I'm enjoying playing and uh, keeping the battery topped up and see what I can get to uh, output and drain on there. You see, 12.5, and the weather it's not ideal to be, uh, you know, photons are quite low. It's in there somewhere, the Chelsea bun. 
So uh, you've got to be wary of the low production days and what you have and drain and power and what you can put back in before nightfall and what you need through the night. So um, interesting. Yes, they was very easy to fit because uh, obviously from the panel, your power output, it's not very long. And on tube, they, they're clipping them here and they snip and they snip and then they get cables and extend all the way down to there. I'll bring that closer, but... Uh, I just thought there was three pound, four pounds shipped from China. Um, not good for the digital footprint. We should have all this localised and produced in uh, in the landmass we're on. To be fair, so you know, 3D printer ahoy! Get your part numbers for them and uh, get them in England, and you'll be making a fortune there. Straight in down that way. So uh, it would be better if that was mobile and could be turned on the top of your iron horse. It'd be better. You could have. Um, the equivalent of that um, come on you see these that washing dryer area there we could modify that strengthen them and have them turning with solar panels on um, cabled up with the mass output coming down into the controller box so you'd harness those like a windmill but turning in the sun and some kind of uh, apparatus that would allow it to follow as the sun went so yeah I'm excited to see what we can do this year. I'll get the hydrogen box out. I'm going to start cutting and welding next. So the, uh, the, the engine cleaning gas machine I've got, I'll run from the, uh, the 12 volt battery and now on a nice hot sunny day and I'll get some, um, some metal to cut and we'll see what we can do with that. And uh, that's another little uh, one off the list. So thanks for watching, subscribing. I shall be back with more. Um, power electric copper magnet experimentation and um home sourced power all right so thank you very much scribes ciao for now mustache okay then what we got here fam three batteries charged they are charged this one's red charging you see on here six thousand watt there you go, 2.5 amp ports, 5 volts, 2 plugs, output, fan, 12 volt, 220 to 240, cigarette, extension and power. On there, there's power in, and, uh, solar power in, and then uh, inverter power out, same that side, 100 watt solar panel there, 20 watt solar panel there. And then they're fed in, separated. My solder iron's broke. I need a new one, so uh, they just go in like that. It's got a charge coming on, 13.5. It's picking up lots, so it's charging the light, running the inverter and the fan. It'll go up to a maximum of 14.4. And uh, yeah, we got that. That one's charging 20 watts. That's charging 100 watts or 120 watts. Not sure of the volts. I need a tester for that. And um, we'll go and get some more batteries and what we'll do is we'll recharge and see what the drain is. You can go there. Oh no momento. I have them. Let's put this. Yeah, one moment. Charged. Opa. I don't think so. Stay there. So, that's better. Now we got some. It's amazing, really, how many batteries from a micro USB coming to there. Look, there's your cable coming out, going into that one there. So we've got the light still on red and we've got it's now obviously taking a 
few volts down because of the extra batteries I've put on. Each battery takes a 1.5 volt charge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries charging there. Eight, the inverter, and it's uh, it's picking up the the voltages as we're in um, the Chelsea bun. I see that, yeah. Well, I can't. It's too bright. And then that will go up to 13.3. If you put uh, <coughs> too much charge, the draw um, amps and volts that these that 120 watt combined then it will start to take down that rapid and then it will deplete the battery so these are the replacement for your alternator because we're not in a horsey and then um, the alternator puts in the top up feed and then um, the output into there and it's a shame that that LED is so dim tells you there your input and there your load functions X's dots and dashes volts Hertz in the line the output functionality there we go so and it's on that proper professional so the fan doesn't hit the grass so it's got the clear output for the fan Three. They'll be done in about half an hour. This was uh, five pounds imported. Okay, that's taking it down a bit. Look, but then I need to readjust these for the sun because it moves throughout the day. And if I was to turn that a little bit and angle it, um, it would then pick it up to the strength of the sun. But just a basic you see the pictures I've put on on the community page so uh, the experimenting continues solar heads sun worshippers atom amun ra etc I'll see you in a bit much love ciao